Hi there, I'm Alexandra Buter. Welcome to today's home organization video. I have a lot of different organizing projects I wanna tackle with you guys today. Some areas that are new that I've never like put anything in. I have storage cabinets I got since we need storage and they're still empty months later, which you know makes no sense. So we're gonna tackle those. We're gonna tackle some other areas that I love but I need to refresh. And I hope you find this helpful and motivating. Please like and subscribe if you do. And let's get started. So welcome to my living room and the first project. And just for a little bit of a video format for you, we're gonna be working on three projects at the same time, which I have to do and you guys will see why. See this, like guys, this is mom life. I opened that cabinet to find a pile of feathers and napkin, like I have no idea what that is from. Um, and then we're gonna finish with the fourth project. And those first three projects we're doing at the same time because I'm shifting things around from all three of those places so we're gonna see how it works but essentially these cabinets are going to be for the overflow home decor that is not seasonal so like the everyday decor and then in the dining room is gonna be the overflow from the kitchen and then in the kitchen I need to refresh and fix some things so that's why I'm gonna do all three of those at the same time and we will see what we have what we are working with as we go now I pulled everything out of here just so I could wipe down the shelves and make sure everything is super clean before I put anything back. And then I'm going to try and group the like products together. So the vases and the trays and the candles and anything else we find. When I moved the table, I realized these drawers are looking a little dingy, so just a quick wipe, and now I'm gonna open them and show you the before of what's inside, and it is very random. So we have some flowers in here, some extra trays. Um, I found some napkins and placemats, and then just some like random things that Chad has thrown in these drawers. And a lot of these things are decorative, obviously, and can go in those living room cabinets. So that's why we're doing a little shift around and guys I just have to say I feel like I am finally reaching the point where this house is like it's almost as organized as I want it to be and it's just getting so much easier to maintain having Forrest being a little bit older and just being able to focus on home stuff a little bit more so I don't know I feel like I'm finally at the point of like feeling like we are moved in if that even makes sense it's been almost two years but you know it takes time to make a house a home and make it how you want things so those extra trays that were in the dining room are going in the living room I have a gift box and the placemats and the flowers and whatnot and again all seasonal stuff is obviously not going over here this is the everyday stuff and some house to home decor stuff so I know the sparkling water bottles seem weird but I use those for photo shoots for house to home decor so I'm gonna keep those and now we're gonna start working on some projects in the kitchen so um, I did a kitchen or organization video probably about two months ago where I put down this beautiful paper and this is a leftover from a wallpaper project that I wanted to use as a liner because obviously it's stunning but um, I forgot to get the putty that holds things in place and I couldn't find it so I got this foam tape instead as you can see there are some folds on this paper but I know that it will come out once it's been flattened for a while and I also am going to use this foam tape on these organizers so that they don't shift when I open the drawer. So everything is gonna be locked down. It's gonna be way more functional and way more practical too.
And all of these organizers are part of the home edit collection from Walmart. I can link those on the video, so I will do that right here. And I share these a lot. I just love them. They're so easy. They're so functional. They can be used literally anywhere, like your bathroom or for makeup storage or whatever. Like I find myself using these for so many different things around the home and they are just so affordable. And there's so many organizers that look exactly like these, feel exactly like these for like four times the price. So I'm obsessed. I have all of those organizers in there. So I also put um, that foam stuff on the wall of the drawer and then on the back of those organizers and I'm going to show you that in another drawer. I'm just going to go through a couple of these drawers since again I have shown this project um, semi recently but I just wanted to show you how I fixed it and made it a little bit better so I'm going to put all of these utensils back in the drawer open it fast and just show you like that liner stays that is exactly what I needed so just one more drawer like that one more full of organization and then we can move on from there and do some rearranging but again you know sometimes when you do a project you just have to go back and fix things and that is exactly what I was doing here and it was so so worth it so at this point I feel like it's perfect now I can enjoy it nothing is gonna slide around or get all messed up and yeah I just highly recommend the system I'm so excited that it finally is at this level So before I put any organizers back in, I'm of course going to wipe them down and just make sure everything is super clean. And I thought this drawer would be a great example for those of you who have kids, or even if you don't, if you have like Stanley water bottles, I feel like everybody has a ton of water bottles these days, then you can sort things separately like this. So one could be the lids, the other could be the bottles and then the straws and so on and so forth. But for me, um, I have a couple organizers in there right now. And the back one is just like snack accessories things we don't use a ton at the front is all of the school lunch items um, and then I'm gonna put all of his cups in these two and then I will have a lazy Susan with a bunch of smaller accessories and then a rectangle home edit organizer with a bunch of lids and I do need a foam tape for this last one so I'm gonna show that to you guys up close but that's essentially how I did the silverware drawer with all of those organizers so they stay together I just you know stick them onto the front of the drawer and I know it's gonna keep it perfect forever until I just have to do a wipe down to maintain it but at this point everything is locked and loaded and ready to go and we are on the last two cabinets these are like what inspired the video in the first place because we have a lot of kitchen accessories and they're so bulky and heavy and awkward and hard to access so I knew I needed some of these things within those drawers in the dining room especially things we don't use a ton so um i have to use smaller things since they're smaller drawers so i wipe down the blenders and i'm gonna put those in this first drawer and then the next one is going to be the food processor type items and i know this seems like a small thing but you guys this makes my life so much easier especially on a regular basis i'm pulling out the air fryer i'm pulling out the crock pot and with all of those extra accessories it just made it so difficult and now these cabinets are like almost empty they're like seriously half empty and I'm just so so excited <laughs> sometimes it really is the littlest things that can make the biggest difference in your home The next drawer I'm going to fill with this coffee machine. We've literally had this 
for so many years you guys since before Forrest was born and we just have been doing the pour over style for the last month or so so we don't need that out on the counter and since I have some extra room in here I'm going to bring things down from the closet we organized upstairs in the hallway a couple weeks ago in a decluttering video so that's why I say to you all of this stuff is such a process and sometimes you have to figure out one area so that you can figure out another so I'm just so happy that I have that extra space in there and I can pull things from an area that's a little bit overcrowded to make them both a little more even if that makes sense and now I have all of these candles left those are gonna go in the living room and then I can do a little walkthrough for you Like this makes me feel so organized, having all the candles in one place, all the trays in one place, extra vases, extra roll-ups, or not roll-ups, but extra like napkins and napkin holders and placemats and extra floral arrangement items. Um, the very bottom one is just for the TV. And then as you know, I have throw blankets here and a bunch of room to grow. Hopefully that will be filled with all house to home decor stuff really soon. Here's just a quick walk through of the dining area. So. Some random and miscellaneous the coffee machine and then as you know we have the food processors and the blenders over here and the last one's a little random it's just a workout thing I bought that I saw on TikTok and that I will use downstairs so I wanted to have a place where it was out of sight And we're on to the last project. I knew I had to include this as a refreshing thing in this home organization video because you guys have been obsessed with this idea ever since I did this about a year and a half ago. And people always ask me for this basket. So yes, I will link it. I will link some options that are a little more affordable as well, but I'm just so obsessed and so happy with this idea of having shoes in a basket like this because it looks really neat really clean really organized of course you have no idea what's inside of it until you open it and i just think it looks so much better than a shoe rack if you have your shoes somewhere out in the open too so every few months i try and pull everything out of here and then i will vacuum it out and you know for maintenance of course but also it just ends up having so many more shoes in it since i try and keep our everyday shoes in here and then the overflow the extra the special occasion the shoes we don't wear that often I try and keep in all of the closets within the bedroom so sometimes I just need to pull it all out and I need to consolidate but you know as you can see it fits a ton of shoes for our whole family and I just think it looks so nice so um, I'm starting to put some shoes back in. I found some shoes, of course, that are going to go upstairs. And then I also found some shoes that are just really worn and old and it's time to get rid of them. And I also, I try to stand the shoes up whenever I reorganize it. It's a little bit like the Kanmari fold. So that way I can see everything at the same time. And there you have it. I think I threw away four or five pairs of shoes. At least 10 shoes went upstairs in the closets. And as you can see, see <laughs> there's still so many in there. So highly recommend this if you're looking for an aesthetic way to organize your shoes. I just think this is perfect and it's worked out for us so well. And that is gonna be everything for this home organization video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I have so many videos linked down below for you, a lot of recent content. Um, and also let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see next on my channel. That's always how I come up with video ideas. So thanks again for watching and spending the time with me. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.